if I have a number that looks like say one three four five seven nine maybe so it's a six digit number and if I want to read this number how do I do that what do I even mean what do I even mean when I say I want to read this number I mean that I want to say hey this number has uh, some hundreds tens and ones I'll say that in the end uh, some thousands uh, some thousands and I'm only putting two blanks because I cannot have more than 99,000 because after that it becomes a lakh. So then I want to say oh, some lakhs, right? So some lakhs, some thousands. Again, for lakhs, I'm putting only two blanks. So I'm going to write what I want to uh, call them below here. Some lakhs, some thousands, and some uh, hundreds, tens, and ones. And I'm going to write just hundreds, tens. Maybe I'll write it fully once and we and we read these together we just say 721 or in this case 579 so this is what we want when we say we want to read how many lakhs how many thousands how many hundreds tens and ones so then we look at this number and then we decide to do that and what do we do we say oh this is the ones place this is the tens place this is the hundreds place this is my ten oh sorry this is my thousands place i'm going to put th and this is my ten thousands place T T H, am I doing this correctly? Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, and this is my lakh place, or lakhs place. I'm just going to put an L over there. With this, I'll know that ha, ah, there's one lakh. There is, there are three ten thousands and four thousands. So three ten thousands plus four thousands, that's thirty four thousand, and there is five hundred and seventy nine. So there's one lakh, thirty four thousand. Uh, which we call just 34,000 and 579. Great. And now I'll ask myself, is there a way to do this easier? If I don't want to have to write, you know, all of this, find out one's place, tens place, hundreds place and so on, can I do this quickly? Then I know that after these three places, my thousand place starts, so I'm just going to put a comma there. And then two more places later, I'll put another comma. Now why am I doing this? I am doing this so that I can separate out my thousands and then I can separate out automatically my hundreds, tens and ones and on whatever is there on this side is my lakhs and crores. In this case there is just one lakh. Now what I can do is maybe make this number bigger. If I make this say three, another three over here. So if this number had just been three one three four five seven nine, that's a seven digit number, then I would have done the same thing. Go three steps here put this comma, two more steps, put this comma, right? And now I'll read this number as, there's another three in the 10 lakh place. So I'm going to call this the 10 lakh TL. So then it's 31 lakhs, 34,579. So I have 31 lakhs, 34,579. So you see why we are putting these commas? It just makes it easy to read. There is no other reason. And it's not a rule. It's not like go three steps here, then put one comma, then go two more steps, put a comma. No. This is simply because we have named a lakh to be equal to a hundred thousands. Right? And a hundred thousands can just be two dashes because after that, after 99,000, you cannot have any more thousands simply because you'll start calling them lakhs. And similarly, after lakhs, after 99 lakhs, you can't have any more lakhs. You can't have 100 lakhs because we'll start putting it into the crore bucket and start calling it crores. So this whole idea of putting it after two two blanks after the first three is simply because of the way we have named numbers in the Indian system. And how many crores can be there? This is like as many blanks as you want. I'm just putting three here, but this can just go on because crores is the last name that we give in the Indian system. So let's look at one number so that we understand how to use crores as well. So maybe I can have seven, two, three, four, five, six, two, nine. I don't know how many I've written. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, eight digits should be good. And then I go, all right, now how do I read this number? Going by what I just learned, I'm gonna put one comma over here. And if you want to, you can put a line if you want, you know, however you wanna separate these digits. And then put one more comma over here. And then I know I'm in my thousands place here. And then if I can put one more comma, now I know I've separated out my lakhs and 10 lakhs as well. And whatever remains on this side is my crores. 
So this makes it super easy to read. I know this number now is 7 crores, 7 crores, 23 lakhs, 45,629.